Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Valerie Rapson from the Dudley Observatory at MySci. By now you've probably heard that there's a solar eclipse coming on August 21st of this year and everybody in the whole United States is going to get a chance to see either a total or partial eclipse. Now if you're going to look at the eclipse, especially if you're only getting a partial eclipse, you absolutely have to use eye protection, either in the form of glasses or a telescope that is equipped with a solar filter. So here we have a six inch Dobsonian telescope and on the front here I have a solar filter. So right now it would be safe for me to look into this telescope and take a look at the sun, which I've already pointed the telescope at the sun. But I want to demonstrate just how bad it is for you to look through a telescope that does not have a solar filter on it when it's pointed directly at the sun. So to demonstrate that, we have a lovely looking cow eye. And in just a moment, I am going to take the solar filter off of the telescope. I'm going to put the cow eye in front of the eyepiece and we're going to see what happens. So imagine if this was your eye looking directly at the sun without any solar protection. We're going to put that down. I'm going to gently take the filter off. This is the part you guys are not supposed to do, so do not try this at home. And we're going to hold the cow eye right in front of the eyepiece. You can see the light is being concentrated on the eyepiece. The sun is making it smoke just a little bit there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, could be your eyeball on fire. So please, please, please do not point your eye or a telescope directly at the sun during a solar eclipse. Make sure that you have special eye protection, either those glasses, you can buy them at your local gift shop, or a telescope that has a special solar filter built in so that you don't have a popped, burned eyeball like this poor little cow right here. Thanks for watching and have lots of fun looking at the eclipse this summer, but please make sure you do so safely.